Progression two. Progression two is, is a bit of an odd one for most people when they first look at this. It's really important to note the difference between an active release and a passive release. When we're actually hitting a putt, we're wanting for a passive release, which is going to mean that the weight of the putter head is, it, it is really what we're focused on when we're, when we're releasing the, the, the putter through the strike. An active release simply means that I would be holding the putter here and I would be actively throwing the putter head to go ahead and release here. And that's what this drill really is all about. When I'm swinging the putter in a true putting stroke, I'm gonna have the luxury of the back swing and now I've got, again, potential energy or load into the, into the club head. So as I let the putter go forward, you'll notice that the putter still is able to kick, but it's sure different than me actively throwing it. So this looks odd, this does not. One is passive, one is active. The reason for progression two is to train the lead wrist complex how to release the putter properly. There's no backswing, so there's no potential energy so we have to actively release it. And what it's going to do is it's gonna teach the player how the blade should be working through the strike to roll the golf ball down the line. So, I'm gonna set up here, fully set up to the golf ball, trail hand comes off, the golf club will be right up against the golf ball, and from here, this is the pivot point. So as I'm swinging this putter, this is what's going to lead the swinging action of the club head forward. It's not from the lead shoulder. So this kind of a look, see I'm just pushing the putter and it almost looks like the grip is what's leading. This looks like the putter head is what's leading. We'll feel it here and it might climb up into the, into the actual arm complex, but it's right from here. This is the pivot point in the player's mind. So again, I'm set up, lead hand only, and I'll roll it right down the line this way. Again, that's an active release, active release. In a true putting stroke, we won't actively release it, but again, trail hand off. Active release to roll the golf ball right down the line. So if the golf ball is going off left or right or coming off the toe or not going far enough, the player will immediately know that their release isn't as proper as it should be. If it's coming off the toe, it's probably because I have a left path. If it's coming off the heel, it's the opposite. If I'm leaving the putter open and the golf ball is going to the right, then it's teaching the player like, huh, how do I release the putter properly? so the golf ball is actually rolling down the line and going into the hole. That's progression two. Progression three will really help coaches and players better understand how progression one and two kind of feed off each other. So tune into progression three so you better understand the second progression in putting.